Show. Folks, it's Sunday afternoon. Welcome aboard to Murder Hobo Inc., the tri generational Margu campaign. Glad to have you with us. If this is your first time, hang on because this is going to be a good one. Uh, if you've been here before, you know what these guys are fully capable of. Uh, they are in the halfling kingdom of Dre Glary. Uh, with the Welsh accent for as long as I can keep it up, probably three minutes. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D with us, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool shit, uh, it's in our shop. Most importantly, thank you to Pirate Dog Dice, who gave me great dice rolls uh, last night. Uh, probably used all of them up. And, of course, uh, oddfishgames.com. If your game stinks... Uh, get a little adventure sense in your life and make it smell better. Also, if you want to learn how to write, uh, try out their shine system on fishgames.com. Folks, uh, like I said, if you've been here before, you know who these guys are. If not, let's introduce them. Uh, let's go with the patriarch, Frank Sr. Who are you? Who are you I am Leaf, the old cranky druid, and I'm a uh, father to Frank and Copius and, and Robert and Grandfather to Haggis <laughs> and Manfang and Uncle to Felix. Not oh boy, yeah, uh, different sides of the family. So I'm the only one that's not blood for the rest of them. Hey, Jay, tell us about yourself. Is that a good <laughs> thing? Well, distance? Yeah, there's just a little bit of distance there, but no uh, distance. enough distance. You're just as no. messed up in the head as the rest of us. <laughs> that's, that's just right. old environment makes a hell of a difference. And we have always treated you like you, like one of them. One of us. <laughs> one of us. <laughs> yeah, I'm still one of them. Not, not blood to Frank, but I'm blood to the rest of them. And who do you play? I play Felix, the last sexy party member. And a big thank you to the girlfriend of the other regular player that sent out the fan artwork. I really appreciated it. And my wife hung it above our bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so not, she, I'm not so she have there. something to look at? Is this? <laughs> I know. I'm saying that's like a marital aid or something. It's, well, that's whatever you think. <laughs> Uh, oh. Jason, you're up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? <laughs> I, I don't know that I can follow up that last statement. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a lowly gnome witch. That's I, I have nothing more to add after that that last one. Cupid like gnome. Cupid, yes, Cupid esque. And your hair is starting to grow out. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna give you a fuzzy navel. Yeah, just give you a cow. Perfect. Because uh, you can play Dennis the Brown Menace. Exactly. Uh, man, thanks. Since your dad's not there, go ahead. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am Man Fang, a half, not half, bull. I'm a dragonborn, is Bart. You know what the hell you are, boy. <laughs> and I have been gone for a one, one week. <laughs> I can't remember nothing. You think I'm supposed to remember that? I got stuff going on, man. Okay, yeah, he's he's an ugly dragonborn. That's Shut all up. there is to it. I'm, but he is the diplomat of the group. See these rolls, Dad. I yeah, he missed the table. And, uh, and, and, and I'm Robert of Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. I'm a half orc uh, uh, bard slash uh, uh, fire fire. <laughs> no, like it's fire. not funny. It's not funny. It is funny. No, it's not funny. Stop. It's not. <laughs> The pending fire call is going to be hilarious. Creepy. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, Nicholas, who are you? Who are you playing? I guess Epstein. That's it? That's your intro? No but dexterity? No. <laughs> You're just going to put all the eggs of dexterity into the basket the and call it a day? <laughs> no sweaty nothing? It, he's, uh, he's fun. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, folks, if you missed last time, these guys have sailed away from the Tortle homeland, uh, missing, presumably on accident, possibly on purpose, uh, the land of the Amazonian women, much to Felix's disdain. They did, however, find the tip, just the tip of the halfling kingdom known as Dre Glary and found an inlet into a small three-leveled uh, 
shall we say, small village, uh, where the little people greeted them warmly, especially after they saw Admiral Copius V. Betters III, uh, because he was an individual they could see eye to eye to. Four of them crossed a fishing boat armada to get to land. Two of them, Man, Fang, and Haggis, are still aboard the ship with strict orders not to let anyone on the ship. We will see how that works out for them tonight. Uh, let's start with the four. Leaf, Copius, uh, Robert, and Felix. You guys wanted to find an apothecary, and you wanted to find a cartographer, and you wanted to look around. They are serving mutton and surf, surf and, surf and turf, but it's mutton. Uh, you've been offered uh, by the mayor dressed in his ringmaster outfit, lodging for the night, but you have uh, graciously passed stating that you have rooms aboard your ship. That offer can change at any time. Uh, you four are together. What would you like to do first? I would like to head for the cartographer first, okay. if you can, see if we can get a map of the area. Fair enough. Uh, do you want to ask directions or do you want to try it yourself. No, I, I uh, Copius is more than happy to ask for directions from the first friendly face he sees. Odd even. It is a male. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, the mayor has circled back around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mayor, could you be so kind as to point us in the direction of the cartographer you mentioned earlier? Of course, of course, for you. Uh, ah, crap, I can't remember my Welsh accent already. <laughs> Stop the clock, it's over. Ah. Just think about the engineer on the, on the Enterprise, and that'll do it for you. Well, that's true. Uh, uh, do you see the pink house, laddie? <laughs> yes. That's not it. So you go down one level. Do you see the one level down? Yes. Okay, you go four four houses. Four, one, two, three, four. Four houses there. You see the green house? Yes. That's a pub. Okay. <laughs> Around the back. That's where you pee. That's a public pee site. Okay. Two more doors down. See the white house? Uh, to the left or to the right from the pee spot? Now you're just trying to confuse me. We just keep going this way. So we're six down, right? Yes. So five. Something six. like that. Six. Six down. You got the White House. That There's a cartographer. Duh. Got it. <laughs> Pink uh, house, green pub, white cartographer. If you think of this as an 8-bit video game, uh, I can't remember what it was, but Activision had a criminal one where you had to keep going up at different levels and intervals. That's pretty much how this halfling Thorpe is uh, laid out. Okay, got it. So I can picturing Popeye the movie with Robin Williams is how I'm picturing this place. I do have the picture of that village, but that's all. That's too many buildings for me to keep track of. <laughs> I have a hundred enough time with the pink house. But apparently the pink house is definitely the mark. So is that where you're going, the cartographer's house? That's where Copius is going to go first. Is everybody following him, or are you going to go off in different directions? Are we following? Are we heading to the local bar so I can... Well, the pub's on the way to the pink house. Yeah, the pub, I think, was the, the green one, right? The green one is the pub. It's four houses down, one level up from the pink house. That's right. <laughs> and just out of curiosity, what's in the pink house? You've never asked. I'm asking now, Mr. Mayor. Oh, the pink house. <laughs> uh, that is uh, that is uh, the, the, the uh, house of repute. No, it's not you the don't repute say. I do oh. say. That's oh. why I said it. Oh, it is wow. the house of repute. Not ill repute. You oh. human types, you always think ill. Uh, uh, we halflings, we are more sensible. Uh, it, is a, it is a good house, laddie. Oh, you would okay. be a big hit. <laughs> There's a red lantern on that door. Mm. Only at night. 
And we have to pass the pink house to get to the cartographer. No, 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 no. The pink house is on the top level. You see the pink house. Then you go straight down. And then you move four over. Behind that four over, that's where you pee, because that is public pee spot. And then you move two, maybe three houses down. Right there, the white one. That is the cartographer house. He does the maps. Got it? Totally. Got it. Yep. Yeah, no follow-up questions. Yep. I have to uh, I have to attend to certain business. Everybody roll perception, including Manfang and Haggis. <laughs> Fifteen. So it begins. Fourteen. Fourteen, that's a jump up for you, son. Wow. Nineteen. Okay. Yeah, bad. Seven. Felix? Eight. <laughs> uh Robert and Manfang, who's on the ship. You cannot help but notice the small halflings jumping off the 200-foot cliff diving competition. You notice as soon as they dive down into the darker water, they move a rather long way away from that, but they never surface. Uh, They reach a small dock. They get up. They run almost two football fields length and climb a zigzagging uh, rocky precipice all the way to the top and back down. So they go down, but then they swim off to the side and avoid the deep dark water and come back. They dive into the deep dark water, but swim never surfacing. Oh, so they're going under the water. You can see them. They seem to be holding their breath an inordinate amount of time. I was about to say, two football fields. Mm Mm-hmm. And these are just adolescents. Uh, Copious, you don't see Jack. You barely see the pink house. Uh, Copious, me, Felix, and Robert. Uh, cartographer's house? Or do we need to stop behind the green shop? I'm going to cartographer's house with Copious. I will follow past the pink house. That pink house is on the third level. I will go to the cartographer's house. Uh, the cartographer... Uh, Master Dylan Nelson of the Nelson family is what is emblazoned on the door, and it's got a nice little mappy scroll kind of image on the door. As you open the door, a little bell rings. Uh, Keeping in mind Felix and Leaf, this is Halflingville, so you guys are going to have to scrunch down. Copious, you can walk in like you own the place. Uh, Robert, you're certainly going to bang your head on something. I'm going to stand at the door. <coughs> Fair enough. Uh, there's multiple gonna, people wandering by you. I'm going to stay outside myself. I'm going to try to get my six foot ass in there. Felix? Uh, I think I'll go. I'll try to squeeze inside. It is uh, filled with several work, workspaces. It looks like he has or had uh, apprentices working on a variety of manuscripts. Almost all of them are naval. Uh, Some are inland for the most you can tell. Uh, Copious, you can walk in freely. You see the back of a halfling huddled over a workspace with a long quill. Uh, uh, Copious will clear his throat, throat) try to get his attention. Apologize Uh, for the intrusion. The man whirls around and has Giant thick glass covering over his eyes. This one is thicker than this one and more opaque. Uh, he rears back and says, may I help you? Not in a Welsh uh, accent. <laughs> Copious will ask if he is a master Nelson. I am master of Nelson of the Nelson family. How may I assist you? Uh, hey, you- watch your head. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Copious will just lay it out there. Uh, you know, they uh, arrived in ship. It's out in the in the uh, estuary if he wants to see it. But we're looking for appropriate, well-defined maps of the area, particularly outlining any, uh, stat, you know, uh, uh, villages, ports, anything that he can provide. If he has those wares, he can show them to Felix and I so we can see if there are any that he'd be willing to sell to us. He will stumble over with poor depth perception because of the Coke bottle glasses he's wearing uh, and actually bonk his nose into the window. 
Oh, well, that's a strange ship. I have exactly what you need. What areas were you looking for? Everything on the uh, eastern oh. part of the world. Everything? The eastern pen peninsula, I mean. Well, you want the Amazonia area. That is exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but along the, uh, the coast. That is a tall <laughs> climb, my friend. <laughs> I, well, yes, I, indeed. I am excited about the climb. It's the journey. Mm. The I southwest, uh, uh, moving from where we're at right now along the northern coast, but heading towards uh, the south and west the coastline, I think is what we're talking about. Yes. And maybe like one level out where we can just see. It depends. I don't know. What do you have? Well. I Perhaps. have this might be useful for you. As you can see, you are here in Drake Larry, Thornfield, and Ashana. Uh, I originally came from further west here, but my memory of that is uh, quite poor now. I arrived in this location via Sedrington. Uh, the area that you want, I think, my tall friend, is uh, Pearl Bay area. That's what Felix is looking for. That is what Felix is looking for, the Pearl Bay. And you, man, I could see eye to eye. I heard Felix was looking for a pearl necklace. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at that, the, the, the place but you're Felix going. Felix is to... a very giving person. He doesn't want to receive the pearl necklace. Uh, 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 and they even named the sea after you there, Pearl Bay, Felix. Dipshit. Oh, Dipshit Sea? Is that on there? It, it's actually Dempsey. <laughs> oh, there it is. Dipshit C. I see it. That, yeah. That's just a Welsh accent for dipshit. That's right. There. <laughs> it means stupid. Uh, she, isn't that, said, isn't that like some kind of spoiled cabbage that Koreans eat or something? I think that's just the smell of the spoiled cabbage that Koreans <laughs> eat. Uh, I can have both of those maps by tomorrow if you'd like. That would be excellent. And then a further question, if we can, if we wanted to travel into Thornfield to visit the capital, mm -hmm. uh, would we need a map or is the road pretty well defined? The road is well defined, my friend. Uh, as a traveler myself, I always look for the markers. And in this particular area of the world, uh, the stone markers dedicate the path every quarter mile. So unless it snows, <laughs> it doesn't snow here. You will be fine. Okay, perfect. We'll pick up the maps tomorrow then. How much? That is going to be the sticking point for the Amazonian one. I can probably do that for a hundred. The coastal map. Uh, yeah, three fifty. Ooh, that's a steep price, Master Cartographer. It's a good map. Uh, would you be willing to bring that price down if uh, we spend a little bit of time as providing you some information about the islands to the north? We've recently come from uh, Playbill, 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 Isle, Playbill, the islands of Tortoise Islands. As well uh, as Fatar. And Fatar. I would be very interested in those. And yes, I would make concessions. Assuming you had readable maps we will indeed have readable maps by tomorrow <laughs> fair enough outside leaf and robert uh the halflings keep walking past you uh one in particular he's a young man wearing a red what appears to be velvet vest uh he doesn't wear any boots whatsoever and every time he walks past you he gives you the old side eye He's done this three times now. I'm going to uh, do a stage whisper to Robert. So you notice the one in the red vest? Don't I ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally, on his fourth trip by, he walks past, odd even, odd, and stops and looks at Leaf. How many hands do you run? What was that again? 
Is it how many hands do you run? I have no idea. May I? Sure. Pat me down. Damn, I should have stayed outside. See what you're missing? You, need you notice to, the uh, thumb action there? Uh, you need to you need to squat down. You need to squat down. Oh, hang on. Here comes a friend of mine. He will help me. He will lift me up. Hang on just a second. And another individual, also in a red velvet vest, walks up. Uh, jumps up on his shoulders and continues to give the hand count. Robert, give me a perception check. You're getting pickpocketed, boy. Not very good this time. 11. So he's not getting pickpocketed there, Mr. Negative. Uh, Leaf, go ahead and give me a uh, roll at disadvantage since you're getting patted down everywhere. Is that two? <clears throat> well, the first one would be uh, 22, and the second one is 19. Uh, one of them might be a physician checking, and you're waiting for him to ask you to cough. Uh, but it is in closer proximity to your front pocket. Well, seeing as how there's nothing in my front pocket, that's yeah. okay. Fair ah, enough. Ah, yet. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <clears throat> Only don't swing that way, boys. I'm going uh -oh. to step back. Okay. And Literally, ask the police him, rolled over. <laughs> what's the significance it's of, the red, thumb. of the red vests? Uh, uh, it, it, it is a club. Uh huh. What club? Hey, hey, little hoodlum gangs. We uh we, we have a red vest, boys. What are you, the daft bastard? Ooh. You hear the familiar sound of a guard whistle. Uh, the first one jumps from his friend's shoulder and they take off. Unfortunately, more guards are coming from the other direction and have the boys pinned. Uh, they begin to slam them into the nearest building and pat them down, demanding to know where it is. Uh -huh. I'm going to shanty on over. While we do that, uh, over check on your the pockets, leave. <laughs> Thank you, pockets. Don't don't check your pockets. There's cops here. Uh, Haggis, man, Fang. Uh, there is a knocking on the door, and a halfling has inverted themselves <laughs> over the portal and tell you, Haggis, since you are the captain. Hey, hey, somebody wants in. I think it's one of your friends. So we let them in. <laughs> what were what was I not supposed to do? Nothing. You don't remember that. <laughs> hey, they're saying I do not. They're well, saying Sean, you want a reminder? You were told not to let anybody on that boat. I know that's unfair advantage because he and Tony Dakota have been left alone on the ship for a good hour by this point. <laughs> and man fan. And man fan. <laughs> and of course uh, the gnomes. So they're taking turns inside the barrel. So someone should open the door. Well, not, not me, right? Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not going to tell you to open the door, but your friends are up top. And they want in. All right. You can hear them yelling. Yeah, I'm telling them. I'm telling them. All right. Manfang, you open the door. All right, cool. Oh, oh, oh. Go. Oh, 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 because, you know, we got a latch or something, right? No, Manfang, uh, give, me a, give me a D4. Yeah, I'll, I'll open it with. I'll open it with the slide store. Pal. Sure, so roll it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. To... It's a, like a porthole. You... <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Who is it? It's it's the hatch that you're opening. Go ahead, roll D4, man, Frank. <laughs> what did I do? I couldn't hear you. He was talking. D4. Roll a D4. <laughs> That's that's a zero. Wait, no, that's a four. Sorry. <laughs> zero. Uh, well, it's not on the top. It's on the bottom, so I couldn't see. Four halflings fall in through the hatch. Two are wearing red velvet vests. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ooh, thanks, mate. <laughs> so welcome. this is your ship. 
This is a fine ship. This is a big ship. You're a big person. But Why this is a halfling this? ship. Remember, I'm halfling. I know these guys, if now, they are halfling. Manfang yeah, let him yeah. in, and he's, uh, people. he's draconian. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it. Wow, this oh. is a big ship. And they separate. <laughs> All right. Um, you go follow. Oh, God. I'll go get the one who's talking to me and ask him, why are you? Well, he stopped talking to you. He went down that way, down towards the zonkeys. Okay. And then, wait. <laughs> so the four of them split up. Which ones go to the most valuable spot on the ship? That's what I'll go to. The fine, most valuable spot on the ship. The personal quarters where you're keeping your crap or your zonkeys. I'll go to the zonkeys. Uh, that would be one red velvet and one non-vested individual. The non-vested individuals are females, so you have two males and two females. So, did like you, you go, you go with them. I'll go, I'll go with to the yeah. other ones. Yeah, exactly. Split off. Yeah. <laughs> we got this. We got this one. Oh, man, they're the uh, August, uh, D12 against me, please. Like oh, kicking a baby. What nine Twelve? six nine or six? The lines on the butt six six uh seven uh down further towards the captain's chair where you are now currently chasing two of the individuals. Phineas Latrex starts screaming, "Get the hell out of here! What are you doing here? Why are these people here?" Before uh, as you round a corner to where your station is, more of them. Females already in the cartographer room. The male is trying to size up Phineas Latrec. Uh, Manfang, you chase them down and they jump aboard one of the zonkeys. One, two, yours are Felix. Nope, one of the regular zonkeys. And they proceed to charge around the backside towards the front, riding the zonkeys. Uh, the zonkey is a little bit big for this. And there is some banging on the sides. You can hear Tony Dakota. You can hear the three humans. Uh, and you can even hear uh, Phineas Latrex's associate screaming bloody murder. Now, since you guys both separated, can you tell me what you forgot to do? Close the door. Close the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How so many more have gone in now? <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> so, Haggis Crabstain, you and Phineas are fighting with one red vest while the female is in the cartography room. Man Fang, you're chasing one of the damn zonkeys with two of them riding it, yelling, yeehaw, yeehaw. Is this a big ship? That's not a bad size ship. <laughs> cool. Can I, like, can I, like, try and, like, not catch up to the zonkey, but, like, get it in a spot where I can elbow it like a cow? Because you know cows fall over when you elbow them. Well, the problem is the narrowness of the uh, hallway. I'm getting beside the cow, okay? Hmm. Do I have people? Are there, like, crewmates on the ship? Like yeah, they're all screaming because you were told not to let anybody on the ship. Oh. Well, I am the ca I'm the captain, so I give a orderly <laughs> attack. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, man, fang D12 against me, please. Uh, good news, man, Fang. There is only one rider on the Zonkey, and it is a female. Bad news is you don't know where that red vest went. <laughs> Up on the captain's quarters, Haggis, uh, the red vest, uh, friend, friend, hey, friend, friend. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, we're just looking around. We just wanted to see. See, I was the one looking through there. So, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, look, there's my cousin. Hey, come on. <laughs> what would you like to do with the intruders besides sound red alert, Haggis? You want to go bowling? Right. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I just got a ship. <laughs> how many are in this room? In this room? Yeah. One. Now, remember, the cartography <laughs> room is just off this room, but they can only go into the captain's quarters from the cartography room, I believe. They could. I don't have the pistorus up right now, but... Uh, so, you were chasing two. And one's in the cartographer room. Mm -hmm. And then think? there's one in this room with me. Mm -hmm. 
I'll go to the cartographer's room. Okay. So you're going to let Phineas deal with the red vest? Yeah, Phineas, attack him. And then I'll go in the... (laughs) (laughs) Attack dog! Uh, As you look into the cartography room, the female has several scrolls, i.e. maps, in her possession. We need those. So I kill her. I attack her. Okay, go ahead. You could have thrown off the ship and we wouldn't have had blood on our hands. I mean, you could have just grabbed him by the collar and tossed him out the door. But that Why wouldn't would be haggis, would it? No, You're it right. wouldn't. Go ahead. I thought about using acid, but that might destroy the ship. God. Or the maps. Don't worry, I'll just save the maps. Okay, uh, you want to do lethal or you want to do non-lethal? Right? All lethal, attacking with two swords. One dagger, one short sword. Okay. Um, 18. Oh, yeah, that easily hits her. She's, wearing a, she's not even wearing a vest, man. You kill Nine. one. Nine. You got to kill She's dead. <laughs> Exterminatus. So then I, I just... I. There's no, are there any other doors leading into the cartographer's room mm-hmm. besides oh, okay. not? no I, I don't think there are based on the drawing that you okay. sent out yeah I, I like I said you I can only get to the cartography room from the bridge okay uh, so, so no there only the bridge uh, is left and Phineas the trek odd lethal or who wants it odd lethal or non lethal lethal. Phineas Lutrec clubs the red-vested young man who sinks to the ground quickly, unconscious. So if I, I could stab him with advantage, right? That would Sure, yeah. <laughs> but I guess we won't be here very long. <laughs> throw their bodies, throw the bodies in the water. I, I mean, he, he's unconscious. You want to lift his head. 114, and 116, so that's a 16. You don't know this. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I'll find out soon enough, and I'll be ready to burn the village now. <laughs> Don't burn down anything. 13. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Problem number two. Uh, a zombie <laughs> with a female rider appears. She has stripped off all her clothing and is calling herself Lady Godiva. She sees the bloodbath, goes back the other way. Manfang Dexterity check or get trampled by a zonkey. <laughs> or I'm no master of zonkey, but I'll <laughs> Fumble. Hey, wouldn't that be a strength Fumble. check? He rolled a one. You suck, son. I Shut love up. You. you suck. Eight damage as you have zonkey tracks in your Here. face. Yeah. I told you, you rolled all your luck away. Take the I, pencil and write minus eight. If he got a zonkey track on his face, I think he should get some charisma back. You uh, think? Uh, be uh, an improvement. Plus one As luck for the. You blink the, twice and look at the zonkey ass running back to where it came from. Uh, Lady Godiva is screaming, He killed him. He killed them all. He killed them all. A, another halfling in a red vest appears with a sack saying, Who killed what? What would you like to do with him? What a sack. What the hell? Kill the rest of them. I guess I'll pull out my (laughs) axe. (laughs) Extermination. (laughs) We can't start it off with promise. Felix, your best bet now is to get back to ship before the bodies (laughs) get cold. I'm going to try and chop them in half. Um, I guess I'll kill them. Before they get cold. (laughs) Go ahead, man, Fang. So, what's the name of our gang? Because we act like a gang. Uh, the Ne'er Do Wells is what I'm thinking. I was thinking the Hardy no, Boys. No, I believe it's a dumbass gang. Yeah. What do you got, Man Fang? You suck. I don't. You roll for me this time. Twenty. You roll three. You suck, son. That's it. You roll for me from now on. Uh, damage. No, he missed. Whoa. He rolled a three. Oh, okay. Uh, the red vest is running for his life, headed back down the hallway uh, in the direction of the zonkey. The crewmen are now activated. 
Phineas and Pierre are mightily pissed, especially at Haggis, because he just killed the witness. Uh, <laughs> and Phineas asks you, Haggis, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> they were on my ship. Like <sighs> Phineas spots somebody <laughs> over your shoulder, pushes you out of the way, and runs down the port side into the hallway and begins to shoo people off along with Tony Dakota. Uh, there are at least six halflings pawing over your stuff, going up and out the uh, hatch. The first thing we should do is close the hatch. <laughs> That's a great idea. Let's do it later. Let's the hatch is on. now closed. But aren't all the halflings out of the hatch? They think they have not seen a naked female yet. That's going to be a whole fraternity incident next. Ah, uh, copious. Felix, <laughs> you exit the cartography shop and you notice that Leaf and Robert are no longer there. They are over uh, approaching a pair of ne'er-do-wells in red velvet vests. Uh, clearly, Johnny Law has them detained, the red vests, not the other two. Uh, they shake down the boys pretty good and cannot find it. Uh, and they demand to know where it's at when your initial friend looks at Leaf and goes, that's the guy that hired me. Talk to him. Johnny Law looks at you, uh, Leaf. I don't know. What? You're muted. It might be for the best. God knows what he's saying. I have no idea what he's talking about. I've never met that man in my life. He come up and started patting me down. He's He was muted, not me. Yeah, Frank, Frank was Frank, muted. Oh, okay. <laughs> Frank, 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 Frank was muted. Okay, that no, was, was muted. Uh, okay, yeah, Leaf. Uh, and that's a natural these. 20 on my persuasion. <sighs> Are you new here? Yeah. No, lifelong resident, can't you tell? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, Mama oh took- we've got a comedian in our group. <laughs> we're just, we were just with the mayor. We just come down here. He directed us down here to get some maps so we can be on our way. We've got a ship in the harbor. So have you ever seen these guys before? Nope. Not till they come up and start feeling me up. I'm going to pat my own self. And no, check my damn pockets. There's something in your pocket. I'm going to pull it out and say, is this what you're looking for? Uh, yes, that is, the, that is the ring that we are looking for. I'm going to toss it to the guard. Is uh, it the one ring to rule them all? <laughs> it, it is not. And uh, in the is, darkness bind them? No, that ring is on the ship. It's the name a is green August. lantern ring. Uh, <laughs> how did you come to ha- be in the possession of this? Uh, I think your little friend slipped it in my pocket when he saw you coming. Is it your cultural uh, persuasion to go ahead and let people feel in your pockets? Not hardly. Then that doesn't really sound correct. I'll let you roll persuasion at advantage since you got the nat 20. I got an 18 and a 17. Thank you for returning the item. Uh, mind your business, tall pants. What's with these red vests? Uh, this is a adolescent gang of thieves and ne'er-do-wells. Uh, They're called the Red Vest Gang. <laughs> oh, oh, my. The RVGs for short. Their mothers all wear red hats? No, that's the, that's the ladies of the Confederacy. Oh, they're up in the pink house? That's how, how no, old the pink they? house is uh, something else entirely. Yeah. How old are they? They're adolescents. Yeah. Uh, you just killed a child. You just <laughs> murdered a bunch of kids. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bunch of pine ten- oil, Jake. That's what it smells like. Pine oil. <laughs> You're getting a chair. Damn. <laughs> uh, Leaf, Felix, Copius, and Robert. Uh, you are all free to go. 
So you need to watch yourselves. I'm going to ask the guard, we had one more stop to make before we leave. Can you tell me where the apothecary is located? Well. Don't forget the accent. Well, it doors down. <laughs> Guards eight, don't. Guards don't. Yeah, do no, eight like, doors down. Eight doors go, down. All right. You go past the stairs to come up to this level. You go two doors down. That is where the apothecary is. All right. So I'm gonna head down toward the apothecary. And you watch yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. You watch yeah. yourself. Uh, they grab a hold of the ears of the red vest and lift them up and drag them off to parts unknown. Do you Hopefully, to whoop down? their ass. Oh Ooh, shit. Are we going to the apothecary next? Yeah. I guess. I will take perception from you four. Oh, God. 18. 18. 8. What the hell is all going on? Uh, I, I the pink house is distracting you, Felix. The yeah. pink house, Seven. it's on my mind. 7, Felix. 7. <laughs> Copious leaf. <laughs> You notice a quartet of guards pushing a wagon with a cage on top of it. They seem to be going to different houses, knocking. The residents of the house throw a small leather bag of something into the wagon. Damn it. <laughs> We're going to get shit in trouble. <laughs> really? You got dead kids on you. <laughs> Only if we get caught with them. Chili, son. There's a movie where you make chili out of people. Charcuterie. That's hey, their answer right there. Fact is, you kill one, you kill them all. Like he said, right. you kill them all. witnesses. So, it's a uh, black ops in the middle of the freaking uh, uh, munchkins from Wizard of Oz. With a fire bug. These two are, are going to go to school on Monday. Hey, what'd you do this weekend? Yeah, I learned you got to kill everything. That's what you gotta do. No, no witnesses. Be no witnesses. Grandpa said. <laughs> so, happy said. So, Copious and Leaf, you aren't really sure what to make out of this. Uh, Robert and Felix are headed ahead of you. Uh, the guards go to the stairs and they go down. Apparently, the dungeon uh, is down on the first level. As you continue past the stairs, you go two doors there. It is a greenhouse with gold leaves painted on the side of the house. Can I There's a lot of uh, scent, aromatics coming out of this house. The, the guards that were dragging the, the wagon with the cage on the top, the only thing that was inside there were small leather bags. Mm -hmm. the, it's a mesh, mesh cage and people would put the bag in between the bars. It's like waffling. <laughs> Once the bag was in, they go to the next house. All right, I'll go up to the apothecary's door and, and push it open or knock, whichever seems appropriate. Right yeah. there. I'll go in for that one too, I'll kneel down. As you push open the door, the aromatic experience intensifies uh, in a veritable festival in your nostrils. It's not good, it's not bad, it's just an overpowering amount of different scents. Inside it is very dark and there is a raven hanging from the ceiling timber. Uh, the ceiling in here goes up at an angle allowing Felix, Robert, and Leaf to stand upright because in the center of this building, is a tree trunk. All right, I'll stand up then. Do we see the apothecary in there? You do not. You only see the raven, and it's not a raven. It's a minor bird. Who are you? Who are you? We're here to buy Who some. are you? Here to buy Who potions. Are you? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Call out for the apothecary. I believe what? her name is Georgina the witch. It is Georgina the witch. A lot of minute. Because uh, she sounds like a dude, too. <laughs> oh. uh, the center of the tree <laughs> glows in an arch. And out steps a halfling dressed in colorful clothing, mostly lace, uh, not hot lace, <laughs> like old witch lace. Old lady lace. You old think it matters lace. to Felix? 
<laughs> We've been at sea a long time, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> the red vest was looking good. Good thing you don't know about uh, Lady Godiva. Uh, oh, I know. Like oh, wait till we get back to the ship. <laughs> uh, Lady I, can George- hear, I can hear it now. Is that cold yet? <laughs> Huh. Lady Georgina steps out of the magical tree trunk, sizes you all up, doesn't like the tall folk, looks at Copius. Ugh, how may I help you? Uh, <laughs> a lot of smoking damage. <laughs> she has a smoker's cough. Yes. Uh, I'll, Copius, I want to introduce you. So say, <laughs> medicinal herbs to help with some of our, our compatriots have sustained some wounds and something we can put on ship for in the advent of, of uh, injury or illness once we're back at sea. Them or you? Uh, well, all, <laughs> all of us, but primarily me. Oh, okay, I will help you. Uh, I do not trust the tall folk. They, uh, I, they're not yeah. very trustworthy at times, but Hey, don't touch okay. that. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. Damn minor birds flying around now. Uh, well, I uh, I have some I have some chew. That might help. Hmm. And what, what does the chew do? What you do is you chew on it. Uh, you don't eat it. Don't eat it. Never eat it. You chew on it, uh, and then you spit it out. Here. She pulls forth out of her bodice uh, a small <laughs> slim gem, starts to chew it. Uh, brownish, reddish foam begin to appear around her mouth. <laughs> Spots her brass spittoon, too, causing a, a, a little drag there on the chin. Easy, Felix. Easy. Go on. Out. Go on I got the vapors. Yeah, this is my kind of lady. And she feels refreshed. <laughs> uh, her skin seems to tighten. It looks a little better. Hey, Felix's skin's tightening up, too. Those are his Yes, pants. I'll take all that I can carry of that skin tightening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What'd you do this Sunday? Oh. Yeah, you don't want to know. Yeah, I, 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 I really don't want to hear Earmuffs. it. Earmuffs. <laughs> Earmuffs. Uh, so I, I, I really don't want to hear any of this. This is all just disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's meant she to has be. magic Slim Jims. Magic Slim Jims. I, I'm going to ask her, how many of those could we procure? That's what I call it. Is that a Slim Jim or a little twist? I believe that was called twist. Yes, two dozen. And what uh, what would she charge for that? For you? Or me? Uh, uh, that, I could do... Uh, uh, I could do 20 gold. Total or a piece? <laughs> a piece. Come on. Do I look like I was born yesterday? Uh, no. The, no, wrinkles, no. the wrinkles start to appear again. <laughs> Skin tightening is only temporary. <laughs> hey, uh, can I make a roll to try and negotiate with her just to see if we can get a little bit of a discount on that? Sure. We're buying in bulk here. I mean, yeah, that's why I would discount. Yeah, I didn't convince her a jack. I, <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> did, did the price go up? <laughs> it might have. It didn't fumble, but that's just what just I didn't convince her of anything. Twenty no, down, twenty. You pay the price I have quoted, or you get out. I will take it, madam. And then I was wondering, our our, our tall friend over there, the one that's uh, flushed right now, pointing at Felix. He seems to have some lasting illness. Would it be possible to uh, to uh, get him something, maybe to deal with disease or poison? It depends. What kind of disease or poison do you have? I believe it's called venerable. That hurts. <laughs> no, that's it. He yeah. is old? <laughs> <laughs> he does not look that old. Now I'm going to go into gypsy mode on this one. He does not look that old. Uh, let me see. I don't may think I, I... May I test you? Maybe. What does the test involve? A tug I need a you thumb? To... I, I need you to kneel down because you are too tall. I cannot test you adequately. You do it right, Felix. You'll now have venerable and venereal. Oh, lovely. 
Sure, I will <laughs> kneel down and let's give it a test. She thought I meant you like old ones. Take uh, take deep breath for me. I'll take a deep breath. <gasps> she puts her hand on your back. Take another deep breath. <sighs> take another deep breath. <sighs> Then she puts her hand on your chest. Another deep breath. Why are you so hairy? You are very hairy. You are not one of them Lothar Copes, are, are you? No, not at all. <laughs> okay, take deep breath. She grabs you by the hair and pushes you down into... Oh, no. Oh, no. All, all Cover his ears, Frankie. Cover his ears. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to cough, but with left leg up. <laughs> like you are peeing on fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Come on, come on. I do not have all day. <laughs> you are stupid, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've got something for him. I can give him something. I don't know what's wrong with him, but sure. He follows instructions to it. You are naive. You are, you. I thought that was part of the test. Your That's highness, in the pink house. That's <laughs> well, not you want to see how house. stupid this you're. This is greenhouse. <laughs> you do that in pink house, they cut you slack. <laughs> uh, he, she uh, says, "When do you need this stuff, Copious?" No. Uh, say if we can get it tomorrow, that would be great. That would be fine. I can do that tomorrow. I will get that. I will get a, a pouch of medicine for him. Uh, does his pee smell? There's way no way we're gonna make it till tomorrow at this rate. <laughs> we don't know anything though. As far as we know, the ship is buttoned up tight like we left it. Like they were told. So Felix, uh, do you the the your pee? Does it? What does your pee smell like? Sometimes like asparagus, but it depends. <laughs> do you often smell your pee? Uh, only when it when I'm peeing. He looks at Copious and goes, this is why I do not trust the tall people. They are weird. <laughs> uh, I will get you a bag of something. Uh, 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 40 gold. Probably fix it. Okay. Did you want to haggle and move it up to 50? No. I <laughs> want to haggle it up to <laughs> uh, She looks at Felix and goes, uh, if you're not well, uh, don't, don't, don't do not go to the pink house. Just I, don't. Just I'm don't. totally fine. I just don't, don't. And just so I'm clear, don't, how boy. Do, the pink house from here it's up a few levels, up one level. You are I on will, the middle level. I will not go to the pink house. Oh, he is lying, is he not? He is totally lying. Yes, that is what I thought. Hang on jumbles around and gives you just a little burlap sack with a ribbon tied around it. You'll go to Pink House. You eat this before you do stuff. And don't do that dog peeing thing. That's just weird. I assure you, I don't need any supplements. But thank you. That is on the house. But you must uh, promise down, okay? you Isn't take it before you do it. For your own health. You got it. Uh, back to the ship. Uh, you mean the more okay, Haggis and Manfang? Are you killing everybody, or what are you doing, Manfang? What are you doing? So, just to re recap, the there's no one else coming. <laughs> no one no else is coming, coming in. They've already. Doors no one else is closed. coming in. The door is shut. There's still a naked lady on a. So not, not a lady. Man. It's a little girl. Uh, you do not know that. You have not seen her. Okay. So my section is all clear. It's all on Manfang, right? Manfang's right next to you. Oh. What happened to the donkey? Then, <laughs> what not, happened to oh, it? Oh yeah, there were uh, some naked <clears throat> woman's girl. Oh, girl, it could be anybody. Manfang D twelve against me. It depends. It's, it's twenty twenty. D twelve. It's twenty twenty. You could be anything. Here, you roll for me. Ten. Thank you. Uh, Manfang, you saw that she was in the area where the zonkeys were at, but when you met, when you went to the middle of the ship, you can see straight across, and you saw the horde of halflings carrying shit out, 
along with Haggis, uh, Tony Dakota, uh, the two gnomes, and most of the crewmen trying to finish them out. Did you want to go check the zonkies? I would like to check um, anything valuable to see what is still there, you know. Such as personal belongings or in the storage area where you had a crap ton of uh, meowy wowy? Um, maybe like the yeah, cargo would be good. Cargo and then anything on the way there. Just a quick up and down <laughs> run check, you know. Uh, that particular Hull area has been ransacked. I see. It will take you at least an hour to try and figure out if anything is missing because the boxes are overturned. Uh, there are several things askew, including a missing satchel from a box, and Pierre is now mad. I don't know what that is, but... Where is my bag? That is the magic bag that goes on forever and is full of stuff. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. You know, the crew will be back any second to explain that. I don't know what happened. But I'm going to go check the Zonkies now. Did it occur to either one of you to check those fools when they were trying to run off ship, take ship back away from them? I was killing some people. I don't know what happened to Van Fang. I mean, I wasn't trying to go for violence, but I didn't miss. So was I like, wasn't trying to go to violence. I was trying to tackle a Zonky. Okay. Uh, they hit me. This is self-defense. Haggis, D12. They drew first. This is self-defense. Ten. First blood. Uh, you see the naked halfling uh, hurriedly putting on her clothes. Okay, so... She screams, masher, and tells you to avert your eyes. How dare you peek at her while I Kill her! <laughs> Flash him. Cut him in half. Well, I didn't I did know they were adolescent when I killed the other two, so... So, you feel so, oh, so now you feel guilty? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, Wait. How old is Haggis? Weak. Oh, oh yeah. How old am I? Yeah. I used your PC. <laughs> I don't know. He lost track after high school. Um, I'll just kill uh, <laughs> kill yeah, her. Yeah. Strong suit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Go for it. Uh, give me initiative. Wait, hostage. 14. Uh, 19. Uh... She reaches into her pocket and goes, give me a wisdom save. Wisdom. Seven. You're a wisdom. <laughs> what was I? And your vision starts to cloud a little bit and you are staring at your hands. And then your hands start to come into focus. She's so gone. <laughs> but the zonkey's still there. Zonkeys are still there. So you just, you know, trying to come up with a way to not let uh, me kill her, but all right. Zonkey's still know, here. If, Everything's good. If you would have passed, you would have been fine. I don't Haggis, to kill Haggis and Manfang. <laughs> The UN describes adolescence as age between 10 and 19 years. I guess we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that makes yeah. you feel better. <laughs> yeah. If it was one of you got was one of you old creeps, then it wouldn't have been good. Yeah. So you are you gonna like, rename this shit me live? Eli, Nuremberg, any of those. Why don't well, we, we check? We haven't got back to find out our shit's gone. There still could be some well, dying well, today. Fast enough, Pat. Oh, yeah. No, they you guys are about to uh, and we can just shocked. brush this off like there's nothing. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Why don't we so, check the front deck? You know, like the top top deck, I mean. Yeah. So open the open hatch. The, but... Open the hatch again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we want to open both hatches or <laughs> open open oh, the hatch Only to leave, one. not to like, but keep it down, you know? So just kind of. Yeah. No, no, I'm leaving <laughs> through the hatch, but I'm cl closing it behind me. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, you come back I'm still a little dazed, not quite sure what happened. Uh, you're kind of puzzled. The sailors, uh, for some strange reason, uh, the sailors, uh, the Tabaxi, and the gnomes are kind of upset with you two, stating that those guys took our ship. 
We will get them back. We'll get you back double. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre, no, no, no. Pierre doesn't think you have enough money for that. You know uh, what? If we bring back their heads, is that good enough? Or like we scalp them or something? Bring back our stuff. Okay. We'll we will. We can. We will. That's what we're going to do. We were already going to do that. Now. So thank you for reminding. Yeah. Now. I was on my way until you stopped me to tell me that. So now. Yeah. Manfang, are you going to go with him? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> what? You guys exit the <laughs> ship. <laughs> Make sure we can't get in or anything. The, uh, the hatch shuts and locks. Uh, you guys stand atop the ship and you notice all those halflings that were fleeing are underwater. They're almost like dolphins. I mean, they don't come up for air and they're headed right for the shoreline. Wait, I'm a halfling. That means I could do that, right? <laughs> sure yeah. it does. Go ahead. <laughs> Why don't you try that? Uh, up on tier two, uh, as you guys exit the apothecary, all hell is breaking loose down on the dock below you as a flotilla of halfling youth comes swimming ashore screaming, murder, murder, murder. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them, quickly. Out in the bay, you see two familiar figures standing atop your ship. That's what we see? Mm-hmm. Look, guys, I wonder we what happened. We shoot them. Do we see anything in their hands, or we just see these? Adolescents? They're too far out. They're out in the bay. I, I'm just no, gonna... no, no. We're talking about the halflings. Do we see things in their hands? Oh, okay. I give me an investigation check if you're looking for their. I'm hands. just going to turn to Felix and say, yes. "We're totally screwed." <clears throat> uh, six, 19. sixteen, nineteen. Do we see that satchel? I'm. Oh, I had a 21 if I was looking for it. So three of you, uh, roll a d12. Not copious. Nine. Eleven. Robert? Leaf with a nine. uh, Spots a halfling with a satchel, an oversized statue, almost saddlebag size, which you are intimately familiar with. Felix, uh, you notice that one of the Porpoises has a sack full of stuff. Uh, Robert, you notice that another one is swimming with about five scrolls. Hey, uh, Copius, I'm going to point that out. (laughs) Copius, I'm going to tell everybody they've got the damn, they got, was it Phineas Latrec's satchel? Phineas? Uh, No, it's Pierre's. They got Pierre's satchel. Hell, we've been robbed. We've been robbed. <laughs> now we can kill them. <laughs> I mean, uh, self-defense and like if they broke into ours. The law of the sea. It's the law of the sea. I think it's time. Hey, it's stuff from us. We get burn them, Robert. Burn them. As you <laughs> stand Not there, the pink room. <laughs> as you stand there, the wagon comes back, and the four halflings. Lifted up each stair, going to the third level. Apparently, they've done their duty here, and they're going to do the same duty up on the third Are they level. Close enough to talk to? Yeah, yeah, they're right there. If you want to talk to them. Yeah, I'm just going to. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Do not approach the wagon. Don't approach the wagon. Stay from the wagon. What do you want? Just curious. What uh, What are you guys doing? We are collecting tribute. Oh, tribute for whom? Tribute for the god of the sea. Lear. You are familiar with Lear. You are a short person. Lear would be uh, uh, okay. kind, kind of a deity amongst uh, uh, halflings. So what do you do with that tribute? Well, do you not do tribute where uh, you are from? We, take we throw it right in the water. Yes. We just we, throw it off the ship right into the water. No, we throw it from the cliff onto the outside. Oh, the, uh, the youth diving from the cliff? No, for, on the other side. On the other side. That is where Lear lives. We give him tribute every every first of month at noon. 
Uh oh. Does he come to pick it up himself? I do not know. It goes into water. What's he look like? Lear, uh, duh, duh. He looks around and he points down to the cobblestone pavement. He looks like uh, Sean Connery. Ah, oh, naked Sean Connery. <laughs> he is yeah. great and powerful sea god. Yeah. yeah. And he yeah. has accent like ours. Only way better. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so it's uh, a <laughs> Russian Welsh man. That's right. Let's see, you got it. Okay. Thanks, Schwartz. Oh. Four thousand, Alex. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a coin and uh, said said would they like uh, I'll be happy to provide an additional tribute as a thanks for the the hospitality of the town. We would appreciate such. You yeah, throw it I'll in there. A couple coins. Throw it. They all clink. There's metal in them bags. And it's that's a, what I wanted to find out. It's a big wagon. It's loaded down. So once they roll away, I'm gonna to turn to the rest of the crew and go, boys, I think we found our new job. And then the theme song from Oceans 12 starts to play. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But for right now, we need to get our stuff back. Yeah, I agree with that. You're know, two levels up. You need to go down one level. Oh, sure. For me, that's only like a level and a half. <laughs> yeah. I you said, can so pants that thing. <laughs> we're not going to make it to the bar. I'm hearing that because nope. now we have to find a, an adolescent gang, yep. Red Vest gang. And Felix doesn't make it to the pink house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got to come back tomorrow to get our <laughs> maps and we got to get the stuff that that tightens the skin from the apothecaries. Don't worry. Druggies. Once we get back to ship, he sees that nice warm corpse. He'll be okay. Uh, was it a female corpse? Does it matter? It, it, it kind of matters. Are we getting picky now? What the hell? Uh, we have been was, can we, are they uh, still down on the dock or are they moving away? Uh, the fastest swimmers have already reached the dock. You see the others swimming as quickly as they can. The three items that you guys saw were all on the dock. I'm making a move towards the dock. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Uh, Once they're moving away, then I want to hit them off. What's the crowd doing as they come out of the water? That's what I'm looking at. Uh, there are several guards down there. Uh, the mayor has somehow made it back down there because uh, he has heard screams of murder, murder, murder. Uh, and several shopkeepers are there. The crowd is sparse at the moment however the screaming is intensifying uh especially since the kids see the fuzz coming i'm trying to put a whoa 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 to the three biggins that are i'm with here and say they're screaming murder in front of a crowd of halflings and i don't care how tough we are if there's 40 halflings throwing rocks at our heads, it's not going to be a long fight. It will be when I burn this so, motherfucker down! <laughs> I yeah, hear that, loud and clear well, what you're saying. Well, there's another town to scratch off the map. <laughs> Is it just every town we come to we need to destroy? Well, I can distract the guards and the townspeople with a little fire back here. And then now, we can right get the over younglings. here. Anakin, we, you we must are still hard. waiting for maps and waiting for magical Slim Jims. So I agree. Just keep that up. To the pink house while we wait. Uh, why don't, hey, why don't we do this? Why don't we get down? Who's got the best persuasion skills? Oh boy. And, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. And things on the ship here. Yeah. But yeah, you know, what are they doing with our stuff? What? Why were they on our ship? Why, you know, we've been, why, if we're we the see ones they have our stuff. We're the ones that've been violated. I see no sign of anybody being dead or killed. Well, They're, we're elevated. If we can see them from right. below, we can let's shoot them with bows from up here. <laughs> okay. You can, I couldn't hear what you said. You fire from. You just light them on. I got fire bolts, man. I can launch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Do it. Burn this shit down. Hey, hey, burn here. the you pink house. The pink house. <laughs> I haven't figured out what's in the pink house yet. Felix. Let's go to the pink house. You're just going to let them take our shit? Uh-uh. No, I'm we got to go get our go. shit. I want to spend the night in the pink house. I want to go to the, to the next level and watch to see where they go with our stuff. Okay, and that's then, what I'm asking. Have they happen. left the dock with our stuff? 
Not yet. All right. Then we burn the town down. Well, then let's watch. We burn the town down on our way out of town. Not when we have to spend the night here to get our stuff from the. Uh, you're gonna have witch. a different kind of burning after you're done with the pink house. Not if he no, takes I'm the not. rose. <laughs> Did you see the little bag? So Felix and Copius, you want to head up to the pink house? Very much so. Yes. Leaf wants to keep an eye out and figure out keep where an these rugrats yep. are going. Yeah. Robert, are you lighting it up or what do you do? Robert, what are you doing? What would you do? What would I? I guess I'll keep an eye on. That way, if it, they start splitting up, I'm not losing sight of stuff. Oh, they're going to yeah, split up. <laughs> What's that? There's, they're going to split up. There's no question about it. We just need to get one of them. Then we can interrogate them. Oh, I'm good at interrogation. Out in the bay, standing on the ship, Banfang and Haggis, you can clearly hear the yells of, murder, murder. Are they somehow you can't the help bay? but How think. How far can I shoot the arrow with a longbow? Uh, what, time of day is it? what time of day is it? Uh, it's uh, uh, mid-afternoon, yeah, I believe. Ooh, okay. or, yes, it's mid-afternoon because you guys They're arrived around noon. It's about 120 to speed, my guess. How far can you shoot a longbow? I thought he could do 300, but it's a penalty. All right. I'm going to try and I'm going to tell Haggis to get back in the ship. I'm going to oh. duck down in the hatch. Please hit the out. mayor. <laughs> if I miss, I duck down real fast. I, I fire it off and then come back in. Oh, hell. He's shooting a longbow into a crowd, hoping to hit one, one half leg, all right? <laughs> yes. He's going to get okay. one half leg. He's, He's going to get one. He's going to get at least one. Yeah. Hey, if he rolls right, he might. Get two. You don't know. Yeah. But we're going to lose a ship. All right, Dad. Roll Haggis. Oh, I uh, roll this one, son. Haggis, you right, reach down and you grab a hold of the hatch. Hold on. Hold on. The hatch is locked. Oh. Ah. All right. You're locked out of your ship. Huh. Thank God. He, he either hit the deck or hit the water. I rolled a six. <laughs> uh, he's still aiming for the, the half. <laughs> yeah. I think it hit a half wing. I'm just saying. Six, you say? Yep. You hit an albatross that falls out of the air oh. and lands onto a fisherman's boat. Don't you know anything? This is terrible for our luck. <laughs> I think it's par for the Did course. nobody see it that I fired off an arrow? The fisherman uh, noticed no. that... You have time to shoot another one, man. Thank Go again! Yeah. Go, on, right. go ahead. I'll fire another one off just with my offhand. With my offhand. I'm rolling with my offhand. He just rolled a 20. You're oh, left-handed. My offhand. <laughs> roll, roll a D6, man. Thing. D6. Not, I know. Six. Six. This hand is doing great. Leaf, Robert, uh, you being trained observers and realize how bad this is, look out to the ship and you see... Mr. Righty, let one go. You follow the arrow in like your Braveheart waiting to raise your shield. Thunk. The guy holding the satchel goes down like a wet sack of shit. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's go get him. Let's go get that. I'm going to say to Robert, we're screwed. <laughs> the child holding the satchel went down. Oh, no, no. The 19-year-old adolescent. Oh, yes. They are definitely of majority in this. The 13-year-old. 13-year-old. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, you know, that's that a man time. in most cultures. 13 years old? Hell, that's an adult. <laughs> that's a man in most cultures. <laughs> so now I get back in the ship. Or I was already in the ship. You move past Haggis and... Yeah, they we're, locked, we're locked out. We're locked out. We're locked out. Somebody followed punch, orders. Not punch the door. It's a bad <laughs> But I wanted them to punch lock the door. Punch a hole in it. <laughs> no, well, we wanted idea. you to lock the door. Knock, <laughs> I'm going to knock and say, go knock. So, Phineas. Phineas. They yell out, you have our shit. Yes. You have our shit. You have our shit. <laughs> yeah. So we've got one dead halfling on the wharf. On the, on the wharf. We can see Man Fang with a bow on the boat. Nagus thing futilely try, trying to open the hatch. <laughs> Felix and Copius went up to the whorehouse or pink house. I'm sorry. Uh, 
it's the crow's nest is what we're doing. We're just looking. We're trying to get a better vantage point. I know you, Felix. Yeah. I know what vantage point you're looking for. I got this I little it, bag. I believe it's called doggy. I'm not, I might be wrong. But. I'm looking for anything. All right. Robert, what do you think we should do? Hang yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, valiantly, or what shall we do? Well, I can try to mend the wound. Around sure. the arrow. Around the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could try to heal whoever it is. I had it down there. Wait, but I did roll a 20 I, and a 6. Wouldn't that be right in the zone? Shut up! <laughs> shut up! You need to stop while you're in there, yeah, boy. You're, you're, you're not proving I, your case. I, only see, I see this as the only way to I see this maybe as save the thing. situation. Was the kid a drifter? I'm going to get down and off the <laughs> Lee had no plan. <laughs> yes, you Lee, killed the right down there. Child. You start healing, I'll take the satchel off and you can get to work. I'm going I'm to jump down and offer my skills as a healer. Uh, I rolled two ones and a 12. That guy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> We're still going to see what we can do. Get down there and see what you can do. Here, Lee, let me... People, make room. He's going <laughs> to try to bring them back to life. They part. Yeah. Here, yeah, we well, got around the wound. I'm going to take the satchel off. I'll set it around my neck. I'll rip open the shirt a little bit, expose the wound. I'll break the arrow, push it through, pull it out the other side since it's sticking out there. Through his eye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got one guy from Rango. I do this thing. So, all right, Leaf. Do what you can, and I'm going to. I, it's not like do. He's he's gone. It's too There's late. A large pool of blood underneath his head. Too late. What's your ventriloquism skills? Where did that shot oh, come from? <laughs> Look up there. Where did it, it looked like that arrow. We saw it come by us from up at the pink house. I'll cast dancing lights. The people up look up there and see the two drifters going up the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> yeah, from the peak house, that short one up there. What the hell is going on? I thought this was a peaceful place. It was till uh, murder. <laughs> this was. This is the oh. HMS peace. We yeah. Need to, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna grab a couple of the bags of our stuff, and I'm gonna tell. Only Robert. the satchel is right there. Oh, where's the bag? But the satchel's around my neck. Yeah, the bag is to the left. The uh, maps are to the right. They're, those people are gone, right? They're oh, not. yeah. They saw that happen and... Pew! And left the stuff? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we're going to we be here for a while while we try to figure out where these red-vested boys are. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the ship. Uh, as you head off down towards the dock, you realize you're going to have to borrow a boat, and then a naked female swims by. I see the naked female swimming. Leaf does. I do. Where's Leaf? Well, He's down on the dock. He down wants to go to the dock. You got up from mending the wound. What? I, I didn't hear but it. you do have Pierre's satchel. I have that around my Yep. Body. Man Fang or Robert, take the satchel back to the boat. Well, uh, man, Man Fang and Haggis are still standing. Right. At the top I'm of talking the boat. to Robert, though. Take the satchel back to the boat and get those two idiots back underneath, <laughs> find out what happened. And I will cast Water Walk on Robert. Jeebus. <laughs> You're going to be impressive. I don't know what the hell that was. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'll say no on that one. That's no, no, no. That didn't really look like Robert. What's that? I flashed these. Uh, he flashed Sean him. Connery in his towel. Lear. Lear. Yeah. So, uh, okay. you can water walk on out there, the last vestiges of the mutant children, uh, not carrying anything, are swimming ahead. Uh, you get out there, uh, Manfang, Haggis, 
Uh, you see Robert, and he looks pissed because he's actually so mad he's walking on water. <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? You may have <laughs> as, as he holds his bow. <laughs> yeah, the one time he rolls a damn 20. The one that was time. Whole thing. Natural 20. That's probably a good thing because if he'd have fumbled, he'd probably shot the mayor. Yeah. I was considering it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Or mayor's wife. <laughs> oh, that would have been way better. <laughs> okay, what Robert, what do you want to tell What the hell is going on out here? Well, we took our stuff, so it's probably allowed that we can do that. This, what? uh... Kill them. Kill the kids? Yes. Did you kill all of them? Nope. No, it's no. you failed. <laughs> you left witnesses. I'm we just, sorry. And now there's a shit storm. Let's get back inside the boat now. Um, give me the side trip. It, it just kind of like a story out of Great Britain from the like 17 or 1800s, you know. We bet. Yeah. Oliver Twist. <laughs> Oliver <laughs> Twist. Yeah. Here. Please, sir, can you spare a magic <laughs> item? Uh, oh. Robert, uh, the hatches are both locked and secured, and you hear below deck, did you get our shit? Gives two shits. Open the goddamn hatch. I, I think that's Robert. I mean, I, I, that might be Robert. <laughs> My hands are getting off. Click, 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 click. Uh, the hatch <laughs> pops open. Oh, hey, boss. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know it was you. <laughs> I'm going to throw dumbass, Tweedle dumbass one, Tweedle dumbass two down in the hole. Dingus and dingus. That's what, that's what our new name We can are. go clean up the bodies in case any guards check, yeah. like hydrochloric acid, you know, just start. I, I don't think well, it's on the matter. head of the ship. Good call. That's <laughs> on the <laughs> floor. Children. Um, no. Hydrochloric acid on and the don't, deck. Don't throw them over the side either. Why? Best, best you can do, butcher them up, make stew. It's fine. We put them <laughs> Children. <laughs> hey, hey. Start butchering the bodies. We're gonna make a stew. You're gonna make it up to the village by cooking. We can give it to the mayor as like a, 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 a sorry. Wait a minute. Peace so offering. Sorry, we feed them the dead, <laughs> the dead yeah. best boys. Save, <laughs> save, 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 save. Fairy tale. No, you when gotta we find save these orphans. This is how we're gonna buy <laughs> our way in. We're gonna feed those orphans. <laughs> You gotta save half of one for Felix when he gets back. Just your make sure it's the right half, the correct half. I only <laughs> half. <laughs> knees and toes. <laughs> knees and toes. Don't no, don't slice them hot dog style. That'll screw everything up. <laughs> <Have a> hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm go glad back. my mother can't hear I me talk this way. I want to get the satchel this back this in bad. and give that to uh, Jean Pierre Poo Poo Pants. Boy, somebody will be praying a rose rosary over us tonight. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, you need some Jesus. He is Jeebus. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. He just walked, he just walked the over there to the boat. What do you want here? Wait till we get a storm. <clears throat> okay, so I have Manfang and Haggis in a heap at the bottom of the hatch. Robert going in. The crew... <laughs> Curious if they have obtained their belongings, aka the sack full of shit. Uh, Pierre is happy that his satchel has been returned. I have Leaf still on the dock. I have Felix and Copius stuck behind the guards, lifting the heavy wagon up to level three, and more guards coming up to them. And we're trying to watch to see if we can spot which direction the the, the uh, red vest gang were, were going. Mm -hmm. And they went that on way. third level. On the first level. Can we level, still see them? Or have they disappeared? They have disappeared. Okay. You yep, have a fairly good idea of the houses they went in. Both are tan. Okay. But at opposite ends. All right. That's that's what I wanted. I'm going to point that out to Felix if he didn't notice that because he's fixated on the pink house. Uh, so close, I can taste it. One of the guards looks at Felix and says, hey, are you strong? I'm a strapping lad. Why? Grab one end of this. It is taking too long. Sure. Uh, give me a grunt and a strength save. Oh, boy. Arm wrestle. Bang. 
Uh, 12 on the strength save. Uh, you feel a little bit loosening in your groin as this thing is weighted down pretty heavily with stuff, uh, but you manage to assist them up to the third level. Oh, thanks, boss. You're a bastard. You're a good bastard to us. And now, they go down the left. How big was the the openings in the mesh? Big enough for a human hand to, while I'm helping them... A normal sized hand, yes. A Robert sized hand, no. No meat. Uh, no ham hocks. In I there. think while I'm helping them up, I'm going to test out my light fingers and <clears throat> see if I can get, pick up a couple of those tribute bags without anybody noticing. You know, there's four of them, right? I have excellent sleight of hand skills. Roll and we'll see. <laughs> oh, shit. Dirty 20. They do not see you. Yes. You're getting lucky. Doing this, this, yes, let me just say, it's going to be one more country. Our asses ain't going to be We aren't coming back, back anyway. All no. that I am trying to do is get into this pink house tonight. <laughs> 23 gold in the small bag. Ooh, 23 gold. Mm -hmm. Marked in halfling currency. Excellent, excellent. Uh, as they meander off, Felix nicks a bag. Uh, you stand before the cat house. <laughs> the house of repute. Are the guards still coming up to, like, interrogate us? <laughs> And what are you doing, Copius? Are you about to bounce out of here? Go look for those other boys that ran into the uh, can houses? I, I want to see if the the, the house um, actually has like a, a waiting area and may be interested in, in oh, there's a parlor. Some more liquor. In the pink house? That's what I'm looking for. I, if we're I'm, go I'm going to see if we can strike a deal for some of Cop Bitter's Best for uh, or Black Bitter's Black Label, one or the other. For, Bitter uh, Pale Ale? Yeah, uh, I think when's the next time we're going to be this close to the pink house? Felix is going to take that little bag that the witch gave him down the hatch. Give me a constitution check. Let's see how you like it. Oh, this, is, this is going to be plague blankets to the Indians. That's what this is right now. 18. That tastes kind of sweet. You feel good. You feel powerful. Ooh. You feel like you could be in uh, big trouble in Little China. <laughs> oh boy! You feel really good, Wang. How about you? You're good. Feel An hour from now, you're gonna feel like someone gave you a four-gallon enema. Uh, oh boy! Copious, you walk in, and a very chesty halfling named Lola Lynch introduces herself to you. But hello there, young man, and woo! What do we have here? This tall drink of water next to me is here for business. I'm here uh, to see if you would be interested in sampling some of my traveling wares. And then I'll go through the whole copy spiel. 16. Color her intrigued. Uh, right. Tall glass of water. What's your pleasure? I, That's you, I gathered, yes. Uh, I guess I am here to <laughs> experience the night what color beard do you prefer i prefer blonde but i will at this point i'll take anything <laughs> uh she uh but, you know it's out. gonna take three Could of them you, I, am, I guess i would politely like to say line them up fair enough uh she lines up ranch. uh let's see which ones the best little whorehouse in Munchkin Land is the the mu musical we're in right now. She lines up two of them. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit is right. Uh, she introduces you to Madison Cook. Uh, she's dressed as a, a slave girl with a nice mesh face mask across. Uh, yeah, the body's okay, uh, but you can't really see what this is uh the other one is dressed as, i don't know as a nurse i'll say somebody with high dexterity 
Uh, but she's got a charisma of 18. So Ooh. she's a knockout. Ooh. But again, she's short. But she's a tall fellow halfling. So uh, she's just a small human being. And uh, five more gold pieces, and she'll be able to get the rest of the operations. I'm going to ask the, uh, the madam, how much for the next, I don't know, let me check the old watch here. Uh, how how do hour, how, how much? Minutes. How do you guys charge? Is it uh, by the hour? Well, Shauna is one of our most exquisite ladies. Her repute is above par. She is fifty gold pieces for the hour. Uh, Madison is still young and in training. <laughs> she is ten, just like a discount. Do you guys prorate? For if I don't use the whole hour, can I get store credit? And maybe come back tomorrow too. She goes. I, I understand. Something wrong? <laughs> Why would we prorate it? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, 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 nothing's wrong. Half I guess. Are you a fast swim. swimmer? Are you a, uh, you a fast? Well, golfer, are you? I think I'm going to have to take both of them. I believe quick draw is the term you were looking for. If I'm going to be here for the hour, I'm going to need both. Suit yourself, Slim. Don't hurt him. You break him, you buy him. You can buy him? Uh, <laughs> oh, don't worry. <laughs> this whole place will be in flames tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> and Felix I mutters to himself <laughs> as he laughs uh, going up the stairs. Madison and Shauna take you upstairs, but you're going to have to hunch over because uh, it's small clearance. Uh, looks at Copious and says, what do you got there, Stretch? I'll, I'll pull out uh, my, my flask that I carry with me, the same that I enticed the mayor with that you like so well. And I'll, t I'll tell her that the mayor thought this was fabulous. Excuse me while I whip this out. Uh, the mayor me, right? is once again mistaken. That's a 19. Uh, this is a fabulous concoction. I must have more. Uh, with this, I think I can uh, expand my business like your friend's about to expand my staff. Ew. I think we can come to a nice thing. <laughs> so oh, I, that's right. Earmuffs, I, sorry. <laughs> no, he ain't going to expand that. And this will probably be a relief to those poor girls after all these well endowed halflings. <laughs> so, uh, Copious, uh, how much for how much? Uh, well, I have to uh, check the stores. I, I would say let's uh, get a letter, letter established with uh, a signature and we'll start a trade arrangement here. It'll be a while before I can get back to your ship, but how about if I deliver a barrel tomorrow? For how much? Uh, yeah, I don't suppose I get a DM rolling on what a, a, a barrel of this stuff, a keg of this would normally cost for a decent uh, probably a hundred. You're talking full size keg. Full size keg. We'll tell, her, tell her full size keg. Uh, I'm going to up jump the price a little bit, and then we can roll to negotiate if we need to. So that because she's so enamored of it, this is Volbitter's best pale ale, is what she's sampling. It is an, uh, a, a, a particularly good brew. He failed this task say. all on his own. Wait, wait. I had 100, 120 is what we'd say. She asks for the flask again. Okay. Yep. I'll uh, give her. She drains it. Doesn't even stop. Just <laughs> persuade her that it's worth that much. Hey, can I have advantage since she drained my flask? I'll give you a plus two because she's not drunk. Oh my God. I bombed the roll again. Uh, at best, let's see, 12. I had an opportunity oh. there. Six on her roll. <clears throat> How about 110? Uh, I'll tell you what, 115, and I will. Uh, I have a drawing for your uh, above your 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 uh, parlor that may you may be interested. We'll get someone to make a copy of it. It will it'll entice everybody. What is it of? Like you I saw don't that tall drink of water that just went up the stairs. Uh huh. Yeah, it's a picture of him. And uh, what's what's the term? Flag in flagrante, something to that. In effect. flagrante, yeah. it, 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 that's the drawing, right? No, 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 not quite. No. 
No, but but <laughs> I had really hoped to find a carpenter to carve that before we got back on the boat. To make like a pressing? A mast a masthead uh, for the Oh, oh, that that'd take a week. Uh, well, Especially I, with a rudder I was, in I was front. hoping to go to the Capitol, not run for our lives. <laughs> uh, talk to Man Fang and Haggis. <laughs> I say you birthed one of those slaughter buckets. Uh, Felix, uh, they're going to tie you up. Yeah, I sent you a uh, message, Frank, of what's going on upstairs. Uh, I think Copius might hear some <laughs> screams from Felix upstairs. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you've seen the movie Euro Trip. I have. Good. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I think are we on the same wavelength there for what's happening upstairs? Uh copious as far as you know, sounds of pleasure. <laughs> Chain rip that sounds like Felix. Uh, at rock, that moment rock, in time, rock, the guards come in and ask to speak with you. And immediately the madam I don't know this guy. He just came in. I, I'm going to look to Lola and say, Lola, I am hurt after everything we mean to each other. Leaf, uh, you also know that there's a tan building and a tan building. Uh, one with the bag of crap, one with the scrolls. Which one do you want to go in first? Bag of crap. Fair enough. Uh, you go into it. Looks like an older home. Uh, there's a grizzled old sailor there. Kind of looks off into the distance. Not quite sharp. Uh, he's the sharpest spoon in the drawer. Uh, who are you? I was following a, a young lad with a red vest on. It came in here. That's go. not me. That's not me. I don't know who you're talking about. No, <clears throat> I'm going to move on past him and, and look around. Hey, wait. Doesn't move. Doesn't get up. Uh, no. There's a small room in the back. Give me an investigation check. Uh, 13 and 2, 15. There's a tattered rug in the center of the room that looks recently disheveled. I'm going to dishevel it a little more and see what's under it. Trap door. I will pop open that trap door. Uh, a, a stench of uh, old seawater and dead fish hits your nose. Uh, and it looks down, there's iron rungs set into a rough hewn stone wall. Looks like seaside caves. Uh, smells damp, smells sketchy. I'm going to head down. Uh, it's dark. I can see in the dark. Okay. Uh, Felix, you are getting the treatment that you so richly deserved. <laughs> They're whipping him? <laughs> back That's on the least the, of Felix's worries. <laughs> back on the boat. Uh, Robert, Manfang, and Haggis. Uh, are you charcutering the dead ones? Yep. Chop, chop, chop. Making, making stew. <clears throat> I yell, start shopping. Felix, I didn't get anything from you. Uh, Pierre, uh, Phineas, Tony, and the three sailors uh, wish to speak with Captain Copius. Who? Oh, I'm sorry, Captain Haggis. Hey, Captain Copius isn't there. Yeah, Cap Captain Haggis, because the chain of command was Copius, then Haggis. Yeah, yeah, Haggis lost that opportunity when he went stupid. We are uh, concerned not stupid. about not uh, the recent turn of events. Each one of us have lost some personal items. We're working on well, and, 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 uh, uh, your resolution is disconcerting to us. Well, from what I hear, the little bastards took our shit, right? Because Captain Haggis let them in. Yes, he's a moron. We know. That's okay. 
you know, it just happens. It you know, shit rolls downhill, but rolls stopped at Haggis. This the stupid shit. So, anyways, we're gonna make this chili. <clears throat> then we're gonna go donate to the orphanage where these little bastards are coming from, because they all look like orphans to me. <laughs> so we'll feed them there to get in, and then we're gonna get our shit back. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna burn this whole fucking place down. Everything burns. No witnesses. You do it right the first time. <laughs> After we get our stuff, though. Persuade me. Okay. Woohoo! 19. Uh, 19. Uh, uh, <laughs> Want to go get some shit? Uh, uh, A little Metamucil will fix that shit for you, brother. <laughs> uh, you know what? There's three. There's six. Uh, sir, we respectfully request shore leave. No, you're going to stay here with the ship. Nobody enters this ship unless it's, well, not these two idiots. <laughs> Myself. Please. We want to exit the ship, sir. No, you're going to stay on the ship. We already have a plan and set in motion to get the stuff back. We are not behind this, and we request to speak with Commander Copius about I'll this. I'll send him back to the ship. It's your job to make sure nothing else goes missing. It was not our fault that anything went missing in the first place. I know. That's why I can trust you to stay here to make sure nothing else goes missing. I'm taking so you're going to go back and get Commander Copius. Yes. We'll send him back. Should I go get him? No, you stay with me. You're incompetent. Who are you sending? <laughs> I run off the ship. Huh? Me Who and Manfang can go get Copious right now. Yeah. Dumb and yeah. Dumb. We're not safe on the ship. Don't you see? They they want us gone. There, yeah. There's a there's a, a mutiny kind of tone working. You see, you see, let me prove myself worthy. <laughs> I will kill every motherfucker around me and burn this fucker down. I'll go ship. get <laughs> Manfang, Manfang, would you come with me to go get Copious? Yeah, of course. I open the hatch. We're going to get Copious. Yep, let's go. Good tidings to the people on the ship. I am, as captain, I will go do my duty. I will duty. leave myself as captain. And as I soon as go. they leave the ship, lock the hatch again. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Uh, Co or Manfang and Haggis, can you guys swim? Yeah, I could probably. I, I, those uh, guys are halflings. Uh, Maybe it's my uh, inner power I haven't. That could be. I I think you should go right to the bottom and hold your breath all the way. <laughs> Swim is survival is what we used before. You got a plus one. Did you know if you if you hold your breath you'll float? <laughs> oh, right. how, how far is it to shore? Brent? Good news, Haggis. Your uh, Sundays are freeing up here real soon. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are either one of you wearing armor? I think I am. Mm -hmm. uh, leather. Uh, leather. That floats. Leather's okay. What am I awesome. Where do I see that? You guys realize there's a boat on the damn ship. I wouldn't then, say anything. They, do not they, realize they, that. they need the boat. <laughs> there's the two, launch? Yeah, there's two launches, but uh, Robert's already secured the hatch. Yeah, they're not going back in now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, they didn't want to listen. They took the hell off. Okay. How long have you been on the boat there, Robert? You're wearing chain mail. Robert. Yeah, that, that's You're boring. An anchor. Yeah, that's real boring. Uh, Haggis, go ahead and do 12 against me, please. Awesome. It's awesome. Awesome, it's awesome. Yeah, awesome. 10. We're going to sink. Oh, so, uh, as you step up aboard, you and Manfang notice there's a small shipping vessel right there. My, my vote, we take the shipping vessel. Exactly. Let's do that. See, I came up with that. So it's just... uh, the, the man on the shipping vessel says, Oi, Crix, what are you doing? We're taking the shipping vessel. Uh, sorry, laddie. This is my shipping vessel. Well, can, can you help you us? Like... Can you help us get to shore? I'll give you, I'll give you a fifty. Go oh wait, is that like a no, lot? That's, no. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Oh. Let's start off with. Let's start off with three. <laughs> Ten. 
The diplomacy skills are astonishing. Uh, how much do you want to offer him? We'll give him I'll give three gold. Three, three gold pieces. Ah, uh, make it five. There's two of you here. Deal. Five gold pieces. <laughs> there might be. Oh, my Adam. Hey. Slowly, slowly get into my ship. I don't want to capsize. Robert, right. how long has it been since I cast that spell on you? It's only good for an hour. I, I don't know. I don't know what the he, time He's is. staying at the ship. Oh, is he? Okay. Go ahead, Felix. Don't worry. Felix is keeping time. It has not been an hour. That is bullshit. <laughs> Those are the shortest songs ever. <laughs> I don't. Did you send it to everybody or just me? No, I just you sent it, it to you. I'll send, I'll send it to everybody. <laughs> okay. Send it. Uh, okay, there, Man Fang and Haggis. Uh, give me a dex or acrobatics to safely enter this little ship. Got to roll your dice, son. Yeah, what do I got to roll? For plus the die twenty plus four. Love wander, huh? Dexterity. Nineteen. Nineteen. I got nineteen. Um. Twenty-one. Both of you successfully enter the flat bottom boat, and the guy takes it. <laughs> Is that a flashlight? <laughs> waiting stick. <laughs> and starts to uh, send you forward towards the shore. Buzz, where have you been at, laddies? <laughs> Hello. Do your ears work or uh, yeah, do yeah. decoration? Yeah, thank you. To the dock, please. No shit. <laughs> I asked how long you, where have you, where you came from. Uh, the, oh. That boat right there. Did you not just see us get on this boat from that boat? Yes. He looks at Man Fang <laughs> and says, Is it a friend touched in the head? <laughs> he was hit in the head. <laughs> oh, that explains everything. So, yeah. welcome to our town. Uh, yeah, I think you will like it. What are you looking for? Uh, we're just looking to go to the dock to talk, conversate with some of our friends. Uh, no, not friends. Accomplices, as I should say. Up that sounds very uh, <laughs> criminal-like. <laughs> we're tourists. So, we're just tourists. We're just straight tourists. Just looking so to have some. Were you also hit in the head? Because you guys... <laughs> no, you're not helping here with your gold pieces. <laughs> we're from the Christian asylum down the water. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. I'll probably be thinking about that like... when I go to bed tonight. <laughs> Glad I could be of assistance. You uh, knock on doors and people don't answer a lot. Am I right? Yeah. Sure. Wait, what is that? I don't know what that is. After means. a very awkward, silent trip, <laughs> he lands you at the dock. Lee, are you still on the dock? or this, have this you? Oh, no, you went down mind. into the I tunnel, didn't you? I couldn't understand it, but so I walked out the door. Uh, Copious, the cops want to know, uh, do you have a bow? Uh, clearly, I do not have a bow. You, uh, where I don't even know how to shoot a bow. Where, you had a friend. Where is your friend? I believe he's upstairs with two ladies of repute. Come and knock on our door. Two. What noise you hear? Two ladies. If you hear the monkey with the cymbals going, that's him. Uh, they look at Lola. Can we go up and talk? Felix is letting out some screams. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> 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 You have what is generally considered an avocado in your mouth. <laughs> Don't swallow the pit. Uh, the good news is those herbs you took, oh, you will be rolling performance at advantage. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so you might want to hit the apothecary again for that. Uh, Clearly, you are cleared, Copious, so they march up to the second level. Uh, they do not have to bend over. They knock on the door. Uh, the two ladies, uh, Shauna and Madison, ask who it is. Uh, one of the guards says, Shauna, is that you? <laughs> uh, Felix, obviously, you're stuck. Uh, the door opens up. They lean in, they look at the position that you are in. I didn't say so. Close the door and walk downstairs. Uh, Copious, uh, they walk wordlessly past you, dumbfounded, and walk outside. Uh, so you may surmise that Felix is the greatest 
single lover ever, uh, and he is scared off the halfling, or go with something more realistic. Say, they, whatever it was, they didn't obvi obviously see that he carries a bow with him everywhere he goes. What they saw, they cannot unsee. Burned uh, indelibly into their brains. I'm just going to... They will never, ever, ever speak to Felix again. Probably every time they close their eyes, they'll be able to see it on the inside of their eyelids. It's like a cup. Was Shauna the young one? Was Shauna the young one? Shauna was the 18 charisma. Uh, what Felix doesn't know is Madison has a charisma of five when she pulls back that veil. She I looks, think at this she point... looks like a uh, limb crusher, you know, what? like a arborist kind of a, would use. Kind of a little female man thing. Yeah, or uh, what was the guy in James Bond? Jaws. Jaws. Oh, oh. it's a thresher action that Felix wants. <laughs> but the, good the term is mangled gets thrown around a lot. <laughs> Uh, it's dinner time, uh, so Leaf, as you watch your two younger associates, oh, no, Leaf, you're down in the caverns, so you have no idea what it is. Uh, Copious, the madam asks you if you're hungry for dinner or anything else. Just dinner, thank you. Well, I'm, I assume we're, we're still waiting on Felix to come down, yeah? Oh, yeah, or yeah. whatever's left of Felix. Whatever. If dinner's available, I'll be ha happily pay for dinner. Oh, that's very nice of you. Uh, she will graciously accept your hospitality, leaves the room to freshen up, uh, and will go ahead and take care of business, uh, real business, uh, in a few moments. Leaf, you can go left or right. Um, I'm going to stop and sniff the air a little bit. Is it moving any air moving down here? Uh, no, but the lapping of water can be heard from both what? directions. Both directions. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm also gaze down at the floor, see if I see anything there. Rocky floor filled with uh, uneven parts, a uh, lot of water, standing water, stagnant water, some fish heads, probably the home to Gollum or something. Okay. Now I'll go to the left. Left will take you Carefully. towards the center of town. Right would take you into the mountain. Uh, Haggis, Manfang, uh, the guy hits the shore and asks for payment. I thought we paid him already. All right, that's fair. You are uh, on the shoreline, and the sun is starting to dip, and your stomachs growl. Felix, hey, your stomachs growl for a different reason entirely. <laughs> so, <laughs> Haggis and Manfang, where would you like to go? Is the guy still there that took us, you know, like onto the shore? Oh, no. As soon as you got off ship, <laughs> he left. <laughs> well, we better get something to eat. You know, we can't fight yeah, we, on a empty well, stomach. We can't, we can't, like, conversate and make these great, awesome deals and Real everything can't no empty stomach. Uh, Robert, uh, the crew is on the verge of mutiny and concerned <laughs> at the viability of the messengers you sent. Can you allay their fears? <laughs> sing them a song. <laughs> yes, I can do that. I, I can sing them a charm. Cats in the cradle and a silver spoon. <laughs> Isn't the there's a song about Copious that's a favorite amongst the crew? Maybe you could lead him in a verse of that. It's true. You know, as much as I cannot stand that song, I think maybe I'll just start that one. I, I don't remember how it goes. I'd I have to roll, I guess, from memory on it. I know, I know a certain DM just loves to put that in your brain, so it doesn't. I just believe it. Here comes the king. Here comes the big number one. Come on, one. guys. <laughs> Uh, they are less than pulsed. Turn their backs to you and return to their quarters. All right, I'm going to take they, my got pot a, of They got a mood going. I'm going to take my pot of chili and uh, head out to the dinghy. I thought you were about to say pot of children. 
What is it is CC. Now you Wild can't feeling. lock the hatch from the outside because your tell. meaty uh, piggy fingers are too thick. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna get one of the guys to lock it behind me. Oh, they will be happy to. <laughs> Yes. Uh, 6.30. How about we call it there? Uh, yep. I don't think you can do any more damage if Felix can remove his ball gag. What'd you think? This was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That, Felix is very disappointed that we're going to have to burn this city down and never get to come back. Well, you want to have a boat to go back to, so you know, there's that. Maybe, maybe we'll be maybe we'll be stuck here. Maybe August you should see if you can buy some equipment to take with you, Felix. That's true, uh, Nicholas, uh, Mister Strategy. What'd you think? I'm. We did good. I I think. Sure, I'd go with that. Yeah. <laughs> you only had one one command to listen to. Yeah, you almost got that one. Uh, Man Fang, what'd you think? I thought it was great. I thought my our new team, Wingus and Dingus, is what I'm calling it, or Dumb and Dumber. You're dumbest and Dumbest. Yep. Yeah. Annoyed. Whatever you want to call it, the two stooges. Uh, Robert, what'd you think? Uh, I think I'm going to turn this to a tender box here before we're done. Uh, that's fair. Uh, Copious? I really like this town. <laughs> it's going to be a shame when it's gone. You know, the madam is going to show you a very good time. Uh, very upscale lady that she is. So, you know. That's, well, that's you what might... Copious is assuming. A nice meal with an intelligent conversation with a new business partner. I, he couldn't hope for more. I, I think you can... Yeah, you can ignore the uh, the Snickers of Man Toy. <laughs> I'm sure that doesn't mean you. Uh, and uh, last but not least, the senior member of this murderous crew. What'd you think? Oh, uh, I, I, I'll be happy if we get out of this place with our ship. <laughs> yeah, and you, is... you guys, you guys haven't even investigated uh, the Lear. The yeah. Lear event. I'm sure that's not. There's still a lot to do. Wait, that's for sure. Been robbed. We're on the verge of a mutiny. Verge of being arrested. The venereal disease thing is just an ongoing concern with Felix. I think that's going to be cut out, though. So, off or out? <laughs> what? what? Did he just say cut? You paid oh. extra. <laughs> I did pay extra. Yes, you did. You got one of your members. We got to go diving, too. Yeah. You got to go diving. Uh, you got to get back together. Leaf is going to be dead in a tunnel somewhere. Yeah, hell, whatever. Man fang, crap stain, uh, who knows what. Uh, Robert is eating parts of halflings. I, say, I, Felix, I made it to feed them. Oh, oh okay. Felix is... Like, uh, man of mystery, whatever it's called. Mystery. Is he with the Flugin men shiming? <laughs> Felix is going to be half the man that he used to be, I'm guessing. And the only one coming out of this in good shape, I think, is Copious because he's got himself a business partner and uh, yeah. he is uh, elegant society. So, it, it's, yeah. it's hard to run a business or sell to a business that's, a, you know, charcoal. That's true because once that boat goes up, that boat is going to go up big from the alcohol. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the tri-generational experience. you got to experience it for yourself. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, if you want to shoot the shit with us, join our Discord. If you want to buy our stuff, go ahead and do that at our shop. Uh, thanks to Pirate Dog Dice for making dice that eh, did pretty nice today. And Oddfish Games, because Oddfish Games goes best with Oddfish Gamers, which is what these guys are. <laughs> Remember, if you want a spot on either the talk show or one of the one shots M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Hit us up. We will get you on. For all three generations of murder hobos here today, thank you very much for watching. We will see you Tuesday on the talk show. I'm going to wave and let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>